are asked which which one of the following, meaning of these answer choices, is less than three sevenths. In other words, we're asked to compare these fractions to see which one's bigger. And there is a shortcut that you can use for those types of questions. It's called the bow tie method. So how does the bow tie method work? Let's take a look at the first fraction, 9 fifteenths, and compare that to 3 sevenths to illustrate our bow tie method. Now we could reduce this, but um, I'll, I'll do it without reducing 9 fifteenths to show you that you can do this method without reducing. So the way the bow tie method works is you essentially multiply the denominator on the bottom left with the numerator on the top right. So we're multiplying diagonally. And we write the product up top. 15 times 3 is 45. We write that above the numerator. Then we do the same thing for the denominator on the right and multiply that times the numerator on the left. This is why it's called the bow tie because it sort of looks like a bow tie when you, when you draw these arrows. 7 times 9 is 63. And again, you put that product above the numerator. And then you compare the products. 63 is bigger than 45, which means that the fraction under the 63 is bigger than the fraction under the 45. So 9 fifteenths is bigger than 3 sevenths. This is, no, this is just a quick way of comparing fractions. And it would have worked as well if we reduced 9 fifteenths. So dividing 9 by, uh, by 3, we get 3. Dividing 15 by 3, we get 5. So what we're comparing is 3 fifths to 3 sevenths. We do the same thing. 5 times 3 is 15. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 is bigger than 15. Therefore, 3 fifths is bigger than 3 sevenths. Because we want something that's less than 3 sevenths, we'll get rid of A. Let's compare 11 20 thirds and 3 sevenths. So I'll put 3 sevenths over here. Again, we multiply diagonally. 23 times 3 is 69. 7 times 11 is 77. 77 is bigger than 69, which means this fraction is bigger than 3 sevenths. So that's out. 25 75 here I do want to reduce because I don't want to be multiplying by 25 or 75. 25 divide, uh, 75 reduces to 1 third. 1 third then compared to 3 sevenths. We can use the bow tie method. 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 1 is 7. As you see, I always circle these just to keep track of what those products are. 7 is less than 9, which means that 1 third is less than 3 sevenths. So this is our correct answer. On the test, you could stop here. Double check, make sure you do the math right. But you don't have to check the other ones. You don't have to check the other answer choices. But just to practice the method a little bit more, let's work through these. So 4 sixths, let's reduce that. That's 2 thirds. And we're comparing that to 3 sevenths. 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 is bigger than 9, so 2 thirds is bigger than 3 sevenths. So that's out. And 12 14 reduces to divide by 2, uh, 6 sevenths versus 3 sevenths. Here we actually don't need to use the bow tie method because we have the same denominator. 6 sevenths is more than 3 sevenths. And so our answer is C using this bow tie method.